Okay, so um, we are going to be solving several questions you're going to be expecting in the algebra questions. Now, question five says, um, now, if this is your first time of coming to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you can get updates as we release this videos. Okay, so question five says, which one of the following expression is equal to Okay, which one of the following expression is equal to at these are the options, these are the questions. So you now to solve this, all I'll just do is expand the bracket. So five times two a I'm going to get ten a five times minus three b this will be minus fifteen b plus five times a will be plus five a and plus five times five b it's going to give me that uh, twenty five b all over. Now below I have three times four a that's um, twelve a this will be minus 3 times 3b is going to be minus 9b plus we have 3a then we have plus 12b okay so 10a plus 5a is going to give me 15a then we have minus 15b plus 25b now do plus 25 minus 15 and you get plus 10b all over this will be 12a plus 3a we're going to get 15a and we have minus 9b plus 12b so plus 12b minus 9b will give me plus 3b so this is my final answer so um, I think from here, option A is the correct answer, and I'm going to tick A. Now, uh, question um, six. Now this is another algebra question. Now it says there were n men in the bus, so men is equal to n. The number of children in the bus was three times that of men. Now children will be three n. Now it says, but. 11 more than that of the women now women now notice it says the number of children were 11 more that of the women okay it says but 11 more than that of women okay so women will be 3m minus 11 that means when you take minus 11 here that means children are 11 more than that of women okay so now this will be the women. So it says if the total the total number of women, men and children in the bus was 45, that means m plus 3m plus 3m minus 11 will be what? 45. Which of the following equation can be used to find the number of men in the bus? So, so, so let's solve this algebra. 3m plus 3m is 6m plus m. This is 7m minus 11 is equal to 45. So I think this is our final answer. So this is the equation we can use to solve the algebra. So the correct answer here is D. So I'm going to circle my D. Now the last question we are going to be solving for algebra. It says a father shared money among his three children, Mulua, Wangari, and Achisa. Wangari received 10 shillings more than Achisa, while Mulua got twice the amount of amount Wangari got. If Achisa received shilling x which one of the following expression represents the total amount of money given to the three now let's say achisa got what x okay then one gary received 10 more than achisa that's 10 plus x Why mulwa got twice the amount one gary got that's 2 10 plus x so now uh which one of the following expression represents the total amount the three got? Now let's sum it up. X plus 10 plus X plus 2 times 10 plus X. Okay, so this will be X plus 10 plus X plus 2 times 10 is 20 plus 2 times X will be 2X. So this will be X plus X plus 2X. Summing the algebra, that's 4X plus 10 plus 20. That will give us 30. So our final answer is 4X plus 30. So I'm going to circle my B. I'm uh, sorry, this is um, the wrong answer. So the correct answer here is um, A. So circle my A. So if this is your first time of coming to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and stay with us and look out for more videos, success in your KCP exams.